Tony Kornheiser will no longer be on Monday Night Football. Uh, his stated reason is that he has a fear of flying. What is it with football broadcasters and their fear of flying? And he says there's just too much flying in the schedule this year, so he's decided not to continue with Monday Night Football. His replacement is going to be John Gruden, former coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I find all of that interesting. Uh, for further color commentary, we go to uh, legendary Young Turks sports correspondent J.R. Jacks. Well, um, as I saw this this morning, first thing I felt was how much everyone hates Tony Kornheiser and they wish he was gone. I think he's only done it for two years now, two seasons. Mm -hmm. um, I think after the first game, everyone hated him. Now, I don't know if you're one of those people. Um, I know you hate Phil Simms or somebody as you're most yeah. hated. Um, uh, well, he, let me just, you ask a question. Let me answer real quick. Uh, I don't, I always thought Tony Kornheiser was awkward in that role. I really wanted him to succeed because I like him. I like him on PTI. I like his column. But I thought it just never worked. He was there was something awkward and and not that funny or interesting about it. And I, so by the end, I gave up and I was like, Nah, it's it's not working. I got to get somebody else. Now, what's amazing is that I've been listening to uh, the broadcast on the radio, Westwood One, and actually Boomer's turned into an excellent Boomer Sison has turned into an excellent broadcaster. And I thought, why not go with a guy that's clearly working like Boomer Sison? instead of bringing in John Gruden, who we don't know anything about, right? And you're right. There are people who I despise in broadcasting. Kornheiser was not one of them. can't stand Phil Simms, the worst broadcaster in sports history. But don't get me started. So, JR, thoughts on So he's, he's stepping in with Trico, and the, th the third one was, is it still Jaworski or was Jaworski pregame? No, he's still, yeah, it's Jaworski. Uh, by the way, Jaworski's great. But this is the, the situation now is they have base of two analysts mm -hmm. as Jaworski and Gruden. Is that going to work? Because you know, you know, Gruden knows every aspect of the game, and it, Jaworski, I think, has a good role in it. But the thing is, I think Tony Gornad's downfall. I think it was less him and more what they wanted him to be, because mm -hmm. he's good on PTI. That's his thing, and he writes well. Him trying to go in there and be the Dennis Miller, which didn't work the first time, just doesn't work. And they're also trying to do the the cross promotion where they bring in an entertainment uh, or artist or an actor and come in and talk. And, and Gornad's it tended to lead that part of the show, which everybody hated, except for women who were like, oh, um, <laughs> the guy who's in this new movie, the, the, the 30 Ghosts of 30 Girlfriends Past, I forget his name. Um, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, every time he, oh, he's in the booth, now, oh my God, I want to see that movie. And then the cross section that they're trying to get watches that segment while everyone who's watching football is like, ugh. You know really? who, you know who they, they wanted need? him to be that, and that screwed him up. You know who that they actually need in there? Uh, they need a Bill Walton type. Okay, now, Bill Walton's a bit of an idiot, okay? I mean, he's a likable guy, but he says weird things that don't make any sense half the time, right? But at least he's colorful, right? And, and, and they don't even have him in the NBA anymore because maybe after a while you can't stand him anymore. But he says controversial things. He says things that are interesting that make you go, oh, come on, get out of here. Or, yeah, that's totally right. That's, an, that's the kind of colorful guy they need. Now, uh, you know who would serve that role well? I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Now, come on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Jared, now hold up now. If I was on Monday Night Football, how much fun would I make it? And the reason is, I'd have opinions, man. I'd be like, look, McNabb's a choker. We know it. We all know it. Right? And everybody's blowing up the phone talking about whether McNabb's a choker. You would, you would be the equivalent of what Rush Limbaugh did when he went on there. No. Except you wouldn't say something that's, so, that's inflammatory and is completely detached from football. You would just say things like that. And people go, what? And then the entire city of Philadelphia hates ESPN and they can't have you on. <laughs> that's why. Not, not, no, you're no, not no, going to say anything stupid as far as racial or... or you no, know. and that's why I thought when ESPN originally hired Rush Limbaugh that it was not a bad move. I thought, you know what? You're going to get some interesting things going on here whether I agree or uh, don't agree. The problem is I didn't realize how full-blown mental Rush was. Like that he was going to get in there and make everything racial and... And, you know, I'm not going to get in there and talk about liberals or conservatives or Republicans or Democrats or race or anything like that. Have football conversations. And just say that. Hey, like, will someone, anyone, point out Peyton Manning's happy feet? You see what I'm saying? When he gets nervous, he does a little happy feet. Uh, I stick it on and throws it into the ground. Or throws it like three feet above somebody else's head. But everybody in football, including Kornheiser, are like, oh, Manning's the best. Favre is the best. Oh, my God, all these players are so good. They need somebody to shake things up. I haven't said a word. I'm just saying. Finally, Kornheiser with the, you know, I don't like flying. If he's telling the truth, man, grow up. Be an adult. 
I mean, fear of flying. I mean, what are you, a child? You're going to give up a dream job like Monday Night Football because you're afraid of flying irrationally? And then number two, there's an excellent chance that he's full of shit. And they were like, hey, you got to move on along, son. This didn't work out. And he's like, what should I go with? Well, I just can't come up with anything. How about I borrow Madden's lie? Line and Madden's for real, right? You think he's lying, JR? No, not Madden. No, 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 yeah, no. Kornheiser's definitely. lying. That was the first thing. I, I can't. I keep forgetting. I didn't even say that yet. That's the first thing. They got rid of him. Yeah. Everybody hated Kornheiser on Monday Night Football. 